Imagine generating an edit and workflows from a single simple text prompt into a working AI automation workflow in NRN instantly. Well, that's now possible because the NRN MCP is here. So in this video, I'm going to blow your mind by showing you how to use the NRN MCP combined with Claude to create sophisticated automation almost instantly. This combination is a total game changer for everyone. Either you're an AI automation developer or just business owners looking to automate your business. And here's what we'll cover today. First, the why. Why added an MCP with Claude changes everything. And second, what is an MCP after all? We're gonna try to explain that for all of you non-technical person. The third, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how to set up Anadan MCP into your cloud so you can pump your Anadan workflows. And fourth, we're gonna have a live demo of a workflow that I will create inside of cloud using the Anadan MCP. And the last, I'm gonna show you a bit of troubleshooting tips when you get some errors into your Anadan MCP or into your workflows. Because even automation, it might need a few bits and tweaks weeks. Okay, now the why. Why it's crazy and what are the MCP advantage? I mean, let's be real. Building automation can be intimidating. You're dragging nodes, you're connecting APIs, you're debugging all the errors and settings. It's easy to get lost and well, all of that. But what if you could skip all of that and just describe your automation into one single prompt? That's exactly what this integration does. You can simply tell Claude something like, Build me an NRN workflow that takes the top stack news in the RSS feed and then sends it to my email. And boom, Claude builds for you from the input, the process, and the output, end to end. So what is actually happening here? I mean, you've probably heard the term of MCP, which is the short for Model Context Protocol. Well, picture MCP is just like a universal adapter for your AI. It's a one single super optimized bridge that lets your AI talk to everything in one go. It gets just the right information at the right time with the right contacts with this MCP. It is faster, it is smarter, and more context aware than your traditional tool chains like APIs. And for entrepreneurs or automation builders, that means faster executions, less frictions, and now we can be more focused into the idea, not the configuration. So let's stop wasting time and let's get our hands dirty. Don't worry. I'll make this paintless. Most of it are just copy paste. So make sure that you watch this tutorial step by step. And if you miss something, you could just pause it. You could go backward five seconds, 10 seconds and do it at your own pace. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're going to download a couple of things. And the first one we're going to download is Node.js. And the way we're going to download this may be a bit uncomfy for you that that is not really technical, but don't worry. I'm going to hold your hand through this step by step. Okay. So if you see here, we have a lot of like aliens language here. <laughs> and what you want to do is just to copy all of this into your terminal. So let's just go ahead and do that. So first of all, you need to open your terminal in here. I'm opening my terminal. There it goes. Let me make this to be side by side. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to copy and paste this command line by line. Okay. As you can see here, we have a comment here. So if you see here a hashtag and then just some comment, this basically means nothing in the code. It's just what we read as a human. Okay. But what we're going to copy is this one. Okay. So let's just copy this and then bring it over here. And I already installed Node.js, I think. So we're going to see how this is going to look like with me. But if you never know JSS, just follow this tutorial. Copy it step by step. Okay. Then this one again. Okay, it's downloading it. It's like some hacker thing, right? Now we're going to verify the Node.js version. Let's go ahead and copy this. And as you can see, it said it should print v22.20.0. And as you can see, it's the same here, right? Magic. And then for the NPM version, just copy this. And then as you can see, it prints 10.9.3, the same as this one, magic. And that's it. We just installed Node.js. Wow, congratulations. And now the second one is we're going to install or download Claude Desktop. 
If you haven't done that, let's try it now. So just go to cloud.ai slash download and then just click which one is your operating system. For me, I'm using a Mac, so I'm just going to download for Mac. Okay, it's downloading. Okay, it is done. Now you just open it and just install it the way you would install other apps on your operating system. But for me, because I already have it, I'm just going to open it here. Okay, and now it is opened and we're just gonna let it load. Okay, now it is open. Now, if you haven't made an account, make cloud account and if you have already now let's sign in together so let's just get started enter your email i'm going to enter mine find me at actualautomation.co and i'm going to send something on my email let me check on that sign in open cloud and then it works okay now we managed to install Claude and then sign into it. Now the next thing that we're going to do is to configure Claude to connect to our Anadan MCP. And to do that, we're going to go to Claude setting and go to their developer mode. So we go to here, go to settings, and then we're going to go to here. If you see there are developer, go there. As you can see, I already have my Anadan MCP, but let's throw this out and let's edit config. And when I click edit config, it should bring me so this cloud folder where there's a cloud underscore desktop underscore config.json. Where in here, we're going to do some typings in here where we're going to give out some information about the NAD and MCP. And in order to do this, we're going to go look at the official documentation of the NAD and MCP. NAD and MCP. So we can go to here, the GitHub. We just have to scroll down. And in here, you would see the installation options. So first it needs us to run this command. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, go to your terminal for that. And as you can see, it runs successfully. So now let's go ahead. And as you can see here, we have the cloud desktop config and we have two config, the basic configuration and the full configuration. And what we want is the full configuration where the only difference is there's Anadan API URL and then the Anadan API keys. So we're going to take this and we are going to open this file. You can open it with whatever you have. Let's just go with text edit because I assume that's what you have. And just delete this and then paste the one that you copy from the Anadan GitHub, Anadan MCP GitHub in here. And we need to change a couple of things. First of all, we need to change the Anadan API URL and then the Anadan API key. I'm going to show you how to get those values. And in order to get these values, we need to go to our Anadan instance. And for that, I'm going to go to my Anadan instance, fahmi.app.anadan.cloud. And then once you're here, you would go to this bottom left and then click on settings. And on the left, you would see Anadan API, click that. In here, you would have an options to create an API key. So click on that and then just name it Anadan MCP, saves it. And it should give you the API key, click to copy and then bring it to your text editor for the API key. So paste it here. Okay, one down, one to go. And for the API URL, and then for the API URL, you can get it from this. So this is your API URL, this one, the fahmi.app.anadan.cloud. So if you're a cloud user, it should be the same, but this might be different, but it should be this one. Okay, copy that, and then let's go back. and hit save, do not forget, and we can close this. And now we just need to restart our cloud. So close this and I'm going to reopen it again. Okay, I managed to restart the cloud and now we should see something in here called Anadan MCP. And congratulations, you just set up your own Anadan MCP. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, if we go back to the Anadan MCP documentations, if you scroll down on the Anadan MCP documentations, there is a section especially for cloud project setup, where in here it said that for best result, it is best using the Anadan MCP with cloud projects. 
and it even gives us this enhanced system instruction. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set up a cloud project. So go over to your cloud and then click project and then let's make a new one, new project. Call it Anadan MCP, create the project. And then we're going to add two things here. First, the instructions and then some files, okay? For the instructions, I'm going to copy this. Copy here, saves it. And then for the files, I'm going to give it a couple of files. Two of it is the hints and techniques and also the reference guide of Anodan and also some workflows that I have built, which you can get it for free. I'll link the file in the description. So I'll just add a couple of things. I'm just adding random things here and just export that and let's wait. And by the way, I also recommend you having the pro plan because it's just way easier to do it with the pro plan, but you can definitely achieve this with the free plan. All right. So this is where it gets fun. Let's test it with a real use case. I'm going to copy this prompt that I have prepared where it will, it will create an automation to fetch the top five latest tech news from a trusted RSS feed and then summarize them with AI and email me the result via Gmail every morning. If you notice here, I do not tell it about which RSS feeds that it's going to get. I also do not tell with what AI it should use. I also did not tell it what's my email. So let's see how this goes. Send it. Okay, as you can see, it is asking permissions to like run its task with the Anodon MCP. For this one, personally, I will just always allow it. You can see it's doing its thing. It's getting the note essential. It's searching the notes, searching the templates, validating the notes. Okay, as you can see, after its research, turns out it gets a template that is really, really similar with what I'm asking. And it's asking me to proceed with building this workflow. And it's also asking me about the preferred RSS feed source. And let's, uh, let's proceed with, yes, build this workflow with the best RSS tech news in the world. and it already outputs me the workflows. It even gives me the workflow overview, the process, the setup instructions, key features, and the step to make it ready to deploy. Well, let's test this out. Copy this. Let's bring this to my Anadan. Create workflow. And then let's copy this. And this is the workflow. It might still needs a bit of tweak because as you can see here, the merge input is only for two inputs while we have three RSS feeds. Uh, figure out the credentials and that's it. So let me do some quick fix. Okay. And I have done a bit of fix, which is just messing with the merge node here and just adding credential for my OpenAI and my emails. And that's it. And let me set up my email to send it to my email. Let me set it to fahmi at axautomation.co. Then save that. Let's see. The prompt, okay, the prompt is looking good. Okay, so the workflow is ready, so let's test it out. Wow, it works. Let's let's see it. Let's see it on my email. And yes, it works. It gives me the this week in tech news. Wow. And all of that with just this simple prompt right here.
and a bit of tweak of course and yeah and now for some troubleshooting tips as you may see when i imported this workflow there are still some errors and there need to be some tweaks so my suggestion is to check all nodes what's inside it for example on the prompt maybe there are some things that is still not good or maybe on the gmail nodes previously it was just showing uh, some random emails and now i'm making it to be my email and there it is, a fully functional automated news digest built from a single, very simple prompt. Claude and Anadan MCP handles all the heavy lifting. From researching about the nodes, from setting it up, from structuring the logic, making the prompt, and integrating the Gmail. And I would say that this is the future of building workflows. It is an intent-based automation, not a syntax-based automation. Okay, so what did we learn? Now with MCPs, we can now build Anadan workflows from plain English prompts to a fully functional Anadan workflows. That means faster builds, faster iterations, and faster results. Whether you're an entrepreneur, a freelancer, or a business team's building internal tool, just describe what you want in a prompt and watch it happens. And if you want professional help building professional automations that just works for your business, Axe Automation can make it real. Visit axeautomation.co. The link's in the description. And see you in the next one.